Hey, good morning everybody. Well, today is October the 13th. It's a Sunday and it's 0945. 0945. Remember, it's the first day of the rest of your life. Is it how it minds? The first day? Of the rest of your life. No. Then tomorrow will be the first day of the rest of your life. Then the day after that, the day after that. It's a continue, continuous ending, ending cycle. You wanna go out, buddy? Oh, I'll let you out. Come on. Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> Beautiful day, man. Got scattered clouds. Got clothes on the line. Hopefully they dry before the rain comes. Bed. Hopefully it dries before the rain comes. Yeah, there's no rain. Yeah, they're talking about this afternoon. Sometimes this afternoon they say it's going to rain a little bit. Which is fine. I don't care. Hey, you know what there's something? It can rain as long as it's not all day long into the night. That's when it sucks, you know? You can't do anything. Not that we're going to do anything today, but can't really do anything. Huh? That is the weather. Yeah, I know it is. That's what I just said, basically. What? There is no rain today. Can you really ensure that? Yes. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. Are you have you become one with Mother Nature? Yep. Okay. Okay. So what are we gonna do today? Probably not much of anything. What are you going to do today? I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. This is part of retirement or it's mine and it has its ups and it has its downs. But you wanna know something? When, when you go somewhere and things start getting chaotic, you're like, I want to go home, <laughs> you know? Or there's like drama starting to form around you when you're out somewhere, or you're visiting somewhere, you're like, I want to go home, because your home is your safe haven, you know? Your home is where you call the shots. Your home is where you let the toxic ones, you don't let them inside your home. You say no, or you just say you don't answer the door. See, the good thing is, is we keep our gate locked and our front mirror, our front window is, is has a glass reflection, not a glass, a mirror reflection on it. In other words, you can't really see in. So we can look and say, nah, I don't want, nah, I don't want to talk to them. <laughs> right? Don't, don't. It really becomes it really becomes handy during the Christmas season and when the Christmas colors come around. <laughs> Look, see your see your face? She knows exactly what I'm talking about. No, what, what I mean is it shouldn't be because Christmas is is, uh, is the time of give and take a uh, yeah. of give. But there of there giving. is people in this world that they take, take, take and they don't have nothing to give. But they don't give anything. Right? Yeah. But and you get tired of that. But it is better to give than to receive. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, it is better to give than to receive, but it's to a point. If you to a point. If you receive and nothing you think that you don't receive any you or you receive more blessing than than the 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 one you receive to people or someone. See, I, I don't, and you're going to take this the way you want. I don't mind helping people out, but I have a problem with helping people out that just keep on making the same mistake over and over, expecting a different result. That's the point I'm like, or well, this week you help them out with something, then the next week it's the same issue again. You know, they're not willing to help themselves, but they want everybody to help them. That's why I have the problem. Yeah, everybody everybody once in a while falls on their faces and you help them get back up and you help bust them off. But there's people that just that are constant victims. You know. <clears throat> and everybody may including myself, believe me, make mistakes. You know, and you learn from that mistake. It's the ones that make mistakes but learn nothing from it. That's you know, they just it just it gets crazy. It gets crazy at the wall. At the wall, you just don't want to help no more. 
Am I wrong, Miles? Let's be honest. Yeah. After a while, you just don't want to help no more because you're like, you know, you ain't learning nothing. You are depending on me to get you out of everything. Well, you need to start depending on yourself. And that's the problem I have. The ones that want everybody else to fix their problems because they're not willing to do it on their own. Now, I can understand if it's the first time they run into an incident and they don't know what direction they're going, you, you help them out. You know, you give them a little advice here and there. You don't tell them what to do, you give them a little advice and, t and see where they take it from. But if you give them advice and they decide to sit on the, sit in the chair or sit down and get drunk, that's not taking care of the problem. That's just adding fuel to the fire. That's just my thoughts, man. It's like, take it with a pinch of salt. Whether you agree or disagree, that's fine. But it's just the way I feel. I don't mind helping people out if you're willing to help yourself. But if you're not willing to learn from it, I don't know what to tell you. <clears throat> See, that's another thing. A lot of a lot of foreigners come over here, okay? You you gotta keep in mind there is no safety net for the foreigners. There is none. That's it's just the way it is. The Philippine government take care of their own. And they look out for them. There's a lot of foreigners sitting in prisons right now because they they done things they shouldn't have done. You know? The Philippines is not there's no safety net here. You gotta you gotta take care of yourself. You have to have the financial means to take care of yourself. Because people will help you out here. People here are more than willing to help you out to a point. But they're not gonna put themselves out there. And you gotta accept that. Which is fine with me. I respect it. I wish other countries thought that way. Take care of your people first. And, you know, you come here into the, in, in the country, don't come here expecting that people are going to help you. That the government's going to help you. I wish other company, co countries would pick that up. And apply that same philosophy to their, their way of life. You know, Miles? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're right. Mm -hmm. That's just my thoughts, man. It, it, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that, but you know, a lot of people wouldn't disagree. There's, there's foreigners that come here and they don't make it, you know, because they believe the hype. Oh, you can live real, real cheap here. You can, depending on where you're at and how your lifestyle is. If you go out drinking every night and spending money on girls, it's gonna, it's gonna catch up with you, man. It's gonna bite you in the ass, you know. But if you come here with a good, sound way of thinking, and what is that? Your way. You know what I'm saying? In other words, if you leave your country, if you're in your country with a budget, bring that same way of thinking here. It's always nice to have a little savings account, the money you're not spending. That's just my thoughts, man. Whether you agree or disagree, that's fine. We're all individuals. All right, man, I'll let you all go. That's my words of wisdom for the day. <laughs> it's all right, man. You be good to yourself. You be good to each other. And be kind. Bye for now.